、えー、国民新聞論説員の藤田と申します。あのーまあ、昨今ですね、えー、在特会の、まあ、5人だかが逮捕されまして、まあ、ヘイトスピーチが問題になりました。でまあ、日本でもですね、あの反感,感情というのはあるのかもしれませんが、あのこ,これはあの日本学って拓殖大学の,あの出してる本ですけども、まあ、オンスンファンさんはですね、えーまあ、すでに皆さんご存知だと思いますけどもその日本についても、えーまあ、東大一流のですね、えー、学者ではないかな日本について非常にあの造形の深い方だと思いますであのそういう、まあ、しかも日本国籍のとなられたオンスンファンさんがですね、えー、このような扱いを受けるということは、私も日本国民としてですね、非常に、え、憤慨するものです。あの、パスポート。あ、ミスター・フジです。はい、こちらです。あの、日本国パスポートというと、というのはですね。あの、菊の御紋章が入ってるんですね。私は、あの、日本の国民として。えー、オーソファンさんがですね、そのような、えー、扱いを受けたことに。え、非常にですね、え、反感を持っております。えー、日本人としてその日本国パスポートを持つ私、オーソンファがです、ね、そういう扱いをされたということについてどのようにお考えでしょうか。There are many things that have been occurring recently、uh, hate speeches, people being arrested, etc.、Uh, and I know that there is a rise of anti、uh, Korean feelings within Japan as well. But、um, I'm holding up a copy of your book.、Uh, but I know that、uh, you are not only a Japanese citizen, but、uh, you are an academic、uh, who has a very, very、uh, deep understanding uh, of um, Japanese culture, Japanese history.、Um, I believe、uh, you are a person worthy of great respect. The point that I want to make is that you have、uh, a Japanese passport which has the、uh, chrysanthemum seal in it. It, it is, of course, a very, very important document. As a Japanese person holding a Japanese passport, having received the treatment that you received, what do you think about this? In, in, Korea, in South Korea,、uh, the fact that、uh, I have uh, gained uh, Japanese citizenship is interpreted as being、uh, basically that I sold myself、uh, to my own blood, my own body, to、uh, another nation. In other words,、uh, it's that I abandoned or threw away or discarded、um, South Korea. アメリカ行ってアメリカ国籍取ったとしても国を捨てたというイメージにはなりませんけれどもなぜか日本にあの日本国籍取ったということはこう侮辱されたような気持ちを持つのが、まあ、これはすごく心情的なものなんですけれども、まあ、そのようなことが全部含まれたことだと思いますね。This feeling that I am this Also, found、uh, this woman who has abandoned or discarded、uh, her homeland, South Korea or Republic of Korea, is someone that simply cannot be forgiven. I think this feeling runs very, very strong uh, within uh, Korea. Uh, it's a very, very strange thing because if a person of South Korean、um, citizenship goes to the United States and gets American citizenship, there is no such resentment. However, if it is a Japanese citizenship that is、uh, taken, then the、uh, people of South Korea seem to feel that they have somehow. しかも個人的には日本のことが好きな人は本当に多いです日本人が好きな人も多いですししかし公で日本が素晴らしい日本,があの日本が好きというようなことは、まあ、戦後ですけれどもずっとこういいずらがあったんですねつまり日本語が好きだということはイコール親日派というネットで貼られるんですけれどもだそれは響きとして売国党なんですねというようなことで現代の売国党の代表はオーソン派というネットで貼られている,いるようです。
Uh, it's a very odd thing also because uh, uh, on an individual level, on a personal level, many uh, people in the Republic of Korea like Japan and many people in the Republic of Korea like Japanese people. But to say this kind of thing publicly, that I like this country or I like Japanese people, is something that in the post-war years, after World War II, uh, it is, has been very, very difficult uh, to say. Uh, the reason for this is that if you f express any affinity uh, for uh, Japan, you are immediately branded uh, Shin Nichiha, which literally means someone that is close to Japan. And that is equivalent to being a traitor to one's country. So obviously, I have been labeled a traitor. So, 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 I have been まあ、やはりこう冷静な目で日本を見つめることが必要ではないでしょうかというようなことをま書き続けておりますけれども、それが韓国に対しては批判、日本に対してはま賞賛しているというようなことで、まあこの売国とというようなまイメージが強く速で
Um, I have a fair experience of those sort of kind of fightings that you have sometimes as a journalist or as a scholar. You know, the word of Voltaire, I disagree with you, but I'll do all I can so that you can say it, uh, you know, well. My question is, you've been writing books here saying that Japan culture is superior to Korea. Is that true? I mean, as an academic, how can we um, come to this conclusion unless you are playing a role, influence, or yourself part of a political view of the world, which is to say that there are countries who are superior and others who are inferior. I mean, I just can't understand that. Could you please explain us and avoid to refrain to answer? ま、ま、それが今日のあの案内の文にも書いてあったんですけれど、その日本の文から方がま、韓国の文化より優れてるっていうようなことをお書きになっていると思うんでございますが、ま、学者としてどのようにそのような、あの、結論に至ることができるんでございます
もう顔も似ていますしというところから親近感を感じやすいですねであのパーセンテージで言いますと私はよく、まあ、たとえということで言わせていただいておりますけれども世界の中で韓国人と日本人は、まあ、9割は似ているとそこからすごく親近感を感じやすいんですね。I think when we're talking in very general terms, I think uh, that uh, uh, South Koreans and, and Japanese people are very, very similar. For example, we look very similar, our faces,、uh, facial features are very, very similar, and as a result, we feel a sense of familiarity、uh, with each other.、Uh, if I were to give a, a, an example,、uh, if I were to give a,、um, percentages, I think when we look at the peoples of the world, I think that South Koreans and, and Japanese feel they are 90% similar. それが実は錯覚を起こしているんです。同じ兄弟であるかのような気持ちを起こしているんですね。だ実はそこに今、なかなかうまく理解できない、お互いに分かち合えないところがあるんだというようなことを、まあ、来日、生活して数年経ってから私は気がつきました。And I think actually, however, this、uh, fundamental feeling that we're very, very similar, we're almost exactly alike,、um, is actually an illusion. And、uh, it's because we have this feeling that we're so similar that we think of each other as almost siblings, that we all understand each other. But it's actually not that simple. It is not possible to really understand each other、uh, that well. And I did not come to this realization until I had lived here for several years. The, just, uh, その違いは、まあ、1割しかない違いかもしれませんけれどもこの違いが極めて、まあ、日本の独特な精神性を持っているんですけれどもほとんどの、まあ、韓国人中国人もしかしたら外国人がこの部分がなかなか理解できない部分だということが気がつきました。And、uh, when I talk about these differences, it is only a 10% difference uh, uh, that uh, separates us. However,、uh, I think this 10% difference is what、uh, distinguishes the Japanese unique mentality or psychology. And I think it is this difference, this unique mentality, that、uh, people of other nations, whether it's South Korea or China or even、um, other nations, I think it is this part that is very, very difficult for other people to understand. So, in the first place, のの中にあの実はとってもこれ小さな問題なんですけれどもこれが9割をあ 90% を超えてしまっている問題だということが、まあ、気がつきました。So, after being here for some time, I began to realize that although it was only a 10% difference、uh, that、uh, separated us, I think this 10% uh, difference is so important that it has more power、uh, than the 90%。Uh, that links the two、uh, peoples. そしてこの1割のあ 10% の違いの中に入っていきますと日本人の,その精神性とか深いところなどなどが、まあ、次々と私の目の前に現れてきたんですねだこれを評価しないつまりこれがある意味ではまあ日本の,その基礎日本人の精神性の基盤であり、日本のあらゆる文化の基礎でもあり、あるいは日本の社会の基礎でもあるんだというようなところに気がつきました。So again,、uh, this 10%、uh, looks like a small difference. However, when you really delve into this 10%、uh, difference, you've come to the heart of what it is uh, that uh, underlies all of Japanese culture, all of Japanese society. In other words, the mental, psychological foundation, the heart、um, of、uh, the Japanese.、Uh, it is un un until you are able to correctly understand、uh, and fully understand and, and evaluate this, it is difficult to understand、uh, overall Japanese culture and Japanese society. まあ、それはその具体的なことをお話をする暇はありませんので、まあ、結論から言わせていただきますとつまり日本の社会というのを私はよく分かりやすく言って大きく分けて、まあ、3つの世界があるという表現をしているんですね。Uh, this has been my experience, and I don't have、uh, time here to go into、uh, great details, but I would just like to give a brief summary of the conclusion as that I've reached. I basically, in order to try to make、uh, Japanese society more understandable, comprehensible,、uh, describe Japanese society as being made of three worlds. The first world is the westernized、uh, part of Japan. アジア的な農耕社会的な日本ですね。The second part of Japanese society is、uh, the society that is based on Asia. In other words, it is、uh, based on agricultural、uh, farming communities. 一般
間に外国人はこの2つの世界はすごくよく分かります。欧米化された日本あ親しいそして韓国や中国のようにその濃厚アジア的な日本世界そのようなところを見ながらもあ似ているねという親近感を感じるんですね。I think that most、uh, non Japanese, when they come to Japan,、uh, they can see these two worlds, these two parts of Japanese society. In other words, they can look, for example, if you're coming from the West,、uh, you look at the westernized parts of Japan and you feel a sense of familiarity. You can understand it, it's comprehensible. And again, if you look at the Asian part,、uh, you can see that there are similarities with the continent, South Korea, China, etc. And that also is very comprehensible. But the point that I want to make is that there is this third aspect, this third world in Japanese society, which is extremely、uh, unique to this nation. でも自然といっても、まあ、日本の神々と一緒に生きていた感覚、かんあの感じ方、まあ、ここがあるんですね。And this unique uh, world, uh, it's a very, very、uh, strange way to describe it, but I would call it an even pre modern,、uh, perhaps, or, or extremely ancient part of Japan.、Uh, so ancient that it was almost before a real.、Um, Modern civilization ever took place. It was a time when the Japanese people were very, very close to nature. They lived with nature,、uh, and as a result,、um, their sensibilities, their way of thinking, the way they respond to, to things、uh, was very, very much developed、uh, during this time. When I say that、uh, this is a time when the Japanese people were、uh, very close to nature, it really also means、uh, the spiritual aspect as well, when、uh, the, peop uh, the people of Japan believed that there were gods、uh, in every、uh, living、um, creature. In, in, in Basically a kind of animism. 一般にはねこの3つ目の世界というのは近代化と,とともに大体薄れていったり周辺に追い出されていくものなんですけれどもしかし日本の中にはこの3つの世界が混在しているんですね。So, obviously, this third world,、uh, this uh, very, very ancient um, uh, world, um, disappeared,、uh, or be, not disappeared, but、uh, became、uh, less visible and became less powerful and influential as modernization、uh, progressed. However, the point that I want to make is that all three worlds still exist within Japanese society. And I think this. And I think this is what makes、um, Japan a very, very difficult nation to understand. そして私はその日本の中の一番最後のこのもう一つの世界ということは例えばあの日本には八百万の神々がいるんですね。八百万の神々。In other words,、uh, there is this feeling that、uh, there is a God in every mountain, in, in the ocean, in、um, trees.、Um, it's、uh, this kind of multiple gods that exist、uh, in nature, which、uh, is a concept that is very difficult for people、uh, from outside of Japan to understand whether you're from、uh, South Korea or from, or from another nation. 特に朝鮮半島の精神性というのは儒教的なんですけれども、儒教的な精神性,精神性から見ると、この自然の神というのは、神々というのは、信じてはいけないです。これはつまり未開人的なんですねですから日本人を見るときに一見見るとものすごく近代化された欧米化された日本のように見えるんですけれどもある意味では一見韓国と似たようなところがと思えるんですけれどもその後なんとこの未開的なもう神々を信じるこの日本というところになりますともう分からなくなってしまうということですね。
Uh, and again, although uh, on the surface Japan may look similar to the Korean Peninsula, this is the Korean Peninsula is a nation uh, is an area uh, which has its, its uh, psychological foundation and Confucianism. And from the point of view of Confucianism, the idea of honoring multiple gods is something that is simply not allowed. It is something that is considered very primitive, uh, and it is something that goes against modernity. So on the surface, when uh, one looks at Japan, it looks like a, a very uh, well ordered, uh, logical, uh, modern. Uh, nation. However, if you dig deeper and you see that third world, uh, this is something where, uh, whether you're from South Korea or from another nation, it causes tremendous confusion. It is a very, very difficult aspect of Japan to understand or comprehend. And so, for example, uh, the idea, the concepts behind Yaskuni Shrine, for example, uh, are uh, concepts that, from the South Korean point of view, are simply uh, incomprehensible and unacceptable. However, uh, it is this third world, this third part of Japanese society that I felt a tremendous attraction to, uh, that I felt uh, was very, very um, uh, fascinating, and as a result, I've investigated this world uh, very deeply. これはつまり人間に当てはめられるんですけれども、人間と言っても絶対唯一なる人はいなくて、私もま足りないもの、そして相手相手も足りないもの、そして相手のものは私に受け入れようとするあの精神性が日本人には特にあるんですね。これは相
So I believe um, it is uh, this kind of thinking, this kind of mentality uh, in Japan that has uh, led to the formation of uh, a, a people that value values harmony uh, in society above all else. Um, it's very, very unique to uh, Japanese society, and as again, I've explained over and over again, it's very difficult for non-Japanese to understand this concept. However, I feel that it is a wonderful concept, and it's something that really needs to at least be understood by the people of South Korea. That's why I have been writing about this for so long. But the end result of my uh, efforts, however, has been that I have been labeled in South Korea as one who overpraises or glorifies or uh, Japan, uh, while at the same time criticizing and um, um, looking down upon South Korea. As a result of this image that uh, I have in South Korea, my books are not read in South Korea. ま、40冊ほどになりますけれども、20年の間に日本人にとってはたくさんの本を読んでいただいて日韓問題について so um, it is for these reasons uh, that uh, my books have not been translated at all uh, into um, Korean. I've written about 40 books over the past 20 years, and many um, Japanese people have read many of my books. And as a result, I think uh, they have developed a deeper understanding of the uh, issues between uh, Japan and South Korea. Uh, however, none of my books are being read at all in South Korea, so I think this is a very, very unfortunate situation. I hope very soon, Hope I hope very earnestly, sincerely, that my books will be eventually translated into Korean. Okay, well that uh, was quite a long answer, um, and uh, we don't have uh, any time for uh, answers of that length anymore, and in fact we're just about out of time in the press conference, but I did recognize these two gentlemen here, starting with you, and then Henry will have the last question, and if you could make them short questions and short answer. ジャパンタイムズの記者の日本政府uh, I'm from the Japan Times. I'd like to just uh, um, ascertain three different uh, facts. One is that uh, you said the last time you entered uh, the Republic of Korea was during Golden Week uh, at the end of April, beginning of May this year. Is that correct? And since that time, uh, have you done anything different, something that would uh, make the uh, South Korean government react differently? For example, have you written a particular paper or done some other activity of that nature? Uh, second question is, um, you said in 2007 when you were refused entry, you contacted uh, the consulate and Eventually, uh, the Japanese government stepped in. Did you do something of that nature this time? And did the Japanese government do, try to do something for you? And number three, uh, do you have any other examples of people being refused uh, entry uh, similar to your situation? あの、4月末から、ま、5月の初め、ま、2日くらいに書いてきましたが、それ以降の活動と言っても、ま、以前と全く変わりません。あの、特別にしたことはないんですね。しかも、ま、15人 so in regard to your first question, um, yes, the last time I went was at the end of uh, April, beginning of May. I went for two days. And uh, as to my activities after that time, I've done nothing basically different uh, from my regular activities. This was, of course, a time when the comfort women issue it was being very much um, uh, 
focused upon, and I wanted very much to not be uh, caught up in that uh, sort of a, a big story. And as a result, I tried to hold down the number of interviews uh, that I gave during this period. Yes. あの、大使館に電話をかけましたけれども、いろいろかけましたけれども、全部土曜日でしたので、あの、なかなかうまく繋がりませんでした。日本にも知り合いの方にお願いしたんですけれども、なかなかその繋がらないということで、そしてるう